lot and trying to get back to normal with another car and everything, try to even find one. Um, definitely a headache uh, at the bare minimum with everything we went through the, with the 302 here at the current point in time. But, and with that, I know I have a lot of people left over from uh, the off-roading world, the Camaro world, world. Um, I know I have quite a few people on here that are four people and whatnot now, but um, the Camaro people and off-road people on here are, are what really built the ground layer for uh, Yellow Hammer here, and for that I'm very thankful. We've done really well over 2021 here. Um, during that time, I had a video get over 1K, and that video at now at the current point in recording I think might be up to 4.1 or 4.2k and I never thought that I would get that far along get that kind of traffic on a YouTube video but um, even on top of that I think I have maybe five total that have hit over 1k now that I am incredibly thankful for uh, you know every log every comment every follow up
I picked up the Vortec. And one thing that I thought would kind of be entertaining for you all, um, a little bit over a year ago, I met a guy to look at a Camaro uh, before I bought the one I did get here, uh, right where I'm currently at in the Walmart parking lot to look at it. And I tell you that to tell you, you kind of find it funny and take a little bit of uh, gratitude in the fact that a year ago that you didn't even have a cool car or anything relatively near it and here you are a year later with a car now capable of making eight or nine hundred i'm definitely thankful for uh, the opportunity that i've had and everything but we're getting there all right now that we're back home i can finally go over with you all everything we got uh the main thing being the vortex or novi whatever you want to call it i don't really think anybody will argue over i think they're all owned by the parent company but yeah right there we go whole unit 2200 pretty good whenever I put it on I might redo that line here make it look a little bit prettier where I had I would figure oil running through that uh, to keep everything cool and lubricated uh, with that got air coolant tank uh, we'll have to relocate it for that kit and everything accompanying it right there pretty good looking unit and the belt belt don't look too bad I might get another one for putting everything on not really making out any dry rod or cracking in it but uh Again, we'll look at that at a different time when we get there. Uh, another coolant line, the main feed. Then we got our bracket that I'm gonna need to hold on to. Uh, got the BAP here too, but whether I go with that or not, I really don't know yet. I'd like to do it right and go ahead and get a pump and everything and do it the right way, but We'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. Elbow for the intake. Throw that in there. And air filter. Might keep that one. I might be able to adapt the one I currently have on the car. Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't tried it. And then from the head unit to the intake. Mainly in here. Got a little bit of hardware and um, nut and bolt and clamp and pulley. And about it for that. I'm going to grab that out of here and we'll take a look at the intercooler and everything we have in the back right there. Alright, now that I got everything out now. So we got our Vortex intercooler. Uh, Pretty big unit, definitely gonna need that for keeping everything cool. Put the trunk down. Um, and then the other one here, mainly uh, duct work for routing from the unit all the way back and under into the intercooler and then into the intake. Quick here before I wrap the video up and get the video edited, I do wanna thank you all again for all the love over 2021. And the only thing I can really hope for will be for you all to have a happy holiday and a great new year. And I hope to grow even more and meet a few of you here in 2022. Anyway, hope you all have a good one. Thank you for coming by.